10 and 0. So just looking at how we can learn, well, relearn, just keep doing or trying to keep doing. Um, celebrating when we are in advantageous positions, but also being able to keep that advantage. There's so many times where I'm getting an advantage in the game, might even just be a pawn up or whatever, and then that advantage just seems to just seep away. And it's because I'm not really savouring the moment. So I want to learn to savour the moment. I remember a guy over the board, I've probably told this story before, um, where he took ages over each single move right from the opening. He was savouring every position, every thought process, every strategy. He was savouring it. And he, he was just enjoying it. He really just loved, you could tell he loved the game of chess, the way he savoured every moment. Someone like me, I don't savour those moments at all. So I've got to learn to really just kick back and really, really take in the game. So I'm going to bring the knight here, just defending the bishop. I roll my pieces defended, the bishop's not defended. He's got like a two on one on here. We've got two on one protection. Could attack his bishop. So let's take the knight off the board. I think we're going to bait a pawn or the knight's just going to come in front. So we'll attack the bishop. So I'll save the pattern recognition that I saw there and appreciating the fact that, okay, the opponent's actually taken it. So now we're onto their bishop. We're not up materially in any way, shape, but because I'm creating something, I'm feeling really quite good about it. I'm going to take the bad bishop. So I've got to feel good about that. Now I've got to start feeling good about my position. I'm not happy that this pawn is by itself. The knight wants to, wants to come here. His queen wants to get some funky position here, attacking the B pawn, because it's always for the B pawn. So I'm really wanting to kind of just stop this knight from getting any play here. So I want to savour the fact that I've spotted that. But also then I want to get this knight out of here. To get support, but definitely for this B pawn situation, because we know that's coming. Either with the queen or the rook. So they've castled, so does that give us a little bit of tempo to do what we're wanting to do, which is get the knight across here. So the pawns have got free reign to support each other in a sense, and potentially get the queen up, even to here, with the idea of, is there a squish position with the knight and the queen? That's what my brain is thinking. Is it this or is it this? At the minute, while well, their queen's jet getting into the game already, look at them, they're thinking the same thing. But their knight currently can't come here, but it can come here. It can go there. So I'm going to bring the queen up. I'll bring it onto the white square for now and see whether or not there's opportunities. I don't think there was much opportunity with the knight in front of the king situation. Not really. So looking for a combination of knight and queen attacking the king. Always for the b-pawn. As we said, always for the b-pawn. As long as we're prepared for it, feeling fairly comfortable. Head of the snake is my next initial target. Or just attacking the pawn here. Just to unsettle the centre. If they don't take, then push onto the queen. Just locking it down a little bit. Is that a positive thing though? My brain, I can't see the knight and queen thing. So they're attacking our head of the snake. And if we don't take, he can push down, we take. If we attack, because he's loosened up a bit of protection on this area, takes, takes. I think we could still attack, you know. Because we take, his queen's coming in. 
pawn can attack the queen. Don't really want to overextend the pawn. It's got a nice little fork thing there if it does take, it's just that there's no support. Okay, we attack. Not sure they're going to push, but it's on the queen, takes, then the pawns on the queen. Yeah, they might go with that. So let's simply take. And we can attack the queen, but the knight is unprotected. So we could do the pawn push like we mentioned. It's just the pawn's there by itself. It's, and the pawn is doing a nice job of stopping this knight. Hmm, okay, bring a rook opposite the queen. Maybe this rook. Could bring itself here. Let's bring the rook. Keep it simple. He may go, well, okay, if you're going to do that, then I'm just going to get a double whammy on you. But it's not a checkmate. Oh, he has done as well. I wonder if that's what they were thinking. Takes? No, he's not doing that. <laughs> okay, so we can take the um, rook, but we're not owning the file. We'd have to bring the queen back down again. So we could bring the rook up in readiness for doubling. So I think we'll do that. Keep it simple. They may decide, oh, I'm taking. I'm not having any of that. So they do take. And they their rook will probably come here because the knight is supporting so they're owning the file so probably probably best taken with the knight and then they don't have to move yeah let's take with the knight oh we saw that one coming a mile off um, so what's he got pawn no nothing going to bring the queen king here readiness to support the rook Right, so we've got to take time now and save her. I know it's five minutes we've got, they've got six minutes. Let's take a deep look at the position now. Knight doesn't have any protection on. So we could, in theory, attack the knight and go for the queen. If the queen doesn't exchange, we take the knight off the board. Obviously, if they go here, we're not taking it off. It's got the pawn here, greedy munch. That could be our saving grace, couldn't it? Ooh, okay, let's take, attack in the pawn. The pawn's attacking us, we can attack the rook, we're attacking the other pawn. So we'll do that, but it's going to come down. So I did that a little bit too hasty. Because now where does my knight go? I'm going to have to come here and then I'm kind of trapping myself. So I'm going to attack the knight rook this way and see if we can get back home. Maybe double the pawns. Let's try and avoid doubling the pawns here. So he's continuing attacking. So we've got a bit of a fork, but obviously he's still on the same file. So I'm going to attack the pawn again. So I think he'll be looking to double the pawns this time. He's not doing that. Let's take. Um, they didn't save at their moment, but I don't think they need to because they're still going to get this pawn. Yep. So let's see what can we do. We can push, but he takes. There's no way of defending. Can we attack anything? No, nope. can't come here because we get taken. Only safe places. Well, mind you, we could come here, but it's way out of the. Okay, so we come here. The rook takes, and the knight doesn't have any support on. And our rook is babysitting this pawn. So with the knight being here, is, can we whirlwind to attack a pawn or something? Hmm. Right, four minutes. Mm -hmm. Nope, okay, I'm gonna have to make that move. I'm gonna have to make that move, come back here, attack the rook. Let's do that. 
it's probably wanting to stay on this line because he's um, attacking this pawn and it's also going to be behind yeah it's staying there it's not going to move from that point so if we pushed nope he's still got all of this to go hmm what an interesting web we have read, weaved. Let's push this and see if we can touch onto this pawn when they come and attack. Well, they're not attacking, so they're confident of something. Let's push. I think maybe that, uh, you know. Their position looks better than ours, so I'm not going to say much on that. So we could come here, supporting the pawn, push, push, push. Hmm. Still going to lose this pawn, and it's going to push, push, push. Let's do that. And push. The knight's going to guard that square. He's just going to go ramping over with the, with the knight to here. Let's just keep pushing. He might even go for an exchange. I don't think he will, though. So what's the deal? Let's go here, put a check on, get the knight off the board, and come down for the pawn. It's got two passes, so we've got things to contend with, really. So we can give up the knight, maybe. Or we're going to have to give up the knight. Is that what he's saying? Let's go here with the king. I don't think there's any place for the knight, is there? If he does push, we can take. It's going at the side here. So he's going to get a passer and I won't be able to stop that pawn from going down. I might have to give the knight up. Mm, that's a shame. Take, rook takes. No. Ooh. We go here. Taking the king off of the line. If he still continues with this, we can take the pawn. And then he drops. Oh, this is going to hurt, isn't it? And we can go here with the rook. Looks like the signal's going. Oh, they've left the game. 